सिंपल कॉन्सेप्ट जोमेट्री पॉइंट पॉइंट इज इट जस्ट डॉट वेन वी टेक ए पेंसिल एंड पुट ए डॉट ऑन द पेपर द डॉट इज कॉल्ड एस पॉइंट इट हैज एग्जैक्ट लोकेशन बट नॉट लेंथ पॉइंट डज इट हैज लेंथ एंड ब्रेथ it has only just location straight line let us take two points join them with the line segment we call it as a straight line it has a straight path without bending any direction if the line has two end points we call this as a line segment If we put a rohet on both the sides, we call this one as line. Line can be drawn in horizontal way or vertical line or slanting line. Straight line can be drawn in any direction. Let us recall. line has no end point it has no definite length so when we put two arrow heads on both the sides of this point it becomes a line a line doesn't have a definite length it has a straight path on both the directions line can be horizontal line vertical line slanting line Let's observe this picture. These two are vertical lines, and these are horizontal lines. These are vertical lines, and they are parallel to each other. These two lines have the same distance at all the points. These two lines are intersecting. They are intersecting at right angle. so we call them perpendicular lines line segment a straight line between two points is called line segment as earlier we have discussed when we have taken two points and joined them with the scale we call them is a line segment line segment has two end points a and b c and d A and B are called the points of line segment. We can measure this line segment using the ruler or scale. It has definite length. Ray line which has only one end point that is called a ray. It has one arrowhead to show that it can be longer on one direction. AB is a ray. It has one arrowhead to show that it can be made longer from the side b let's observe this picture a is the end point and b doesn't have any any end point it has a row head it continuously extends on this side indefinitely it has one end point and continuously extends on this direction it does not end in this point it does not end in this direction we call this as a ray the point which is ending on one end is called initial ray the point a is called initial point of the ray ab the reason is the point a is ending at one side and b is not ending so this point starting from here so this is called initial point and b is not ending this is the arrowhead ray has only one end point either side it is 